Alright, recording this video after close of trade, Tuesday 13th of January 2015. What a day! Unbelievable. Massive range, massive volume. 2.2 million contracts traded. Top to bottom range today was 50 points. Unbelievable. Uh, we topped out just over 2050 and we bottomed out over 2000. 2001 I think was uh, the low today. Absolutely critical the low of today and I'm going to run through a whole bunch of charts just showing you how important today's low is. If today's lows kind of gets broken, we might see a little bit of a push down test to tomorrow morning, possibly. Uh, but if it uh, gets kind of broken substantially, then uh, it could travel places. But so far, we've got supports acting on a whole bunch of charts, a whole bit different bunch of methodologies, uh, just saying that today's low is absolutely critical. So let me just roll through those charts. Uh, first of all, this is Better X Trend. So Better X Trend is a trailing stop based on exhaustion volume. And all of these charts on the different indices are just showing how important uh, the low of the last several days has been. So we got uh, the Dow chart here, 17,375 uh, is this important low as a uh, kind of trailing stop that we've got to keep above in order for this thing to kind of keep going. Uh, here is uh, the Russell uh, using the ETF uh, for the Russell. Again here uh, 115 is kind of the critical low you can see supports behind, trailing support is behind this move on the way up but that has to hold uh, for, for us to kind of continue in a confirmed uptrend. Uh, then we've got the S&P 500. Here the low is sitting just uh, 1973 which is kind of the low uh, of this last kind of sequence but again we're above that trailing stop so we're in an uptrend but it has to stay above that trailing stop uh, to be a confirmed uptrend. Here's the e-mini chart this is 1996 being kind of a critical level here uh, we closed at 2016 which is kind of decently above that low there uh, but as I said that's just got to hold uh, here and then on the weekly chart again uh, 1962 is kind of this critical low we're in an uptrend but again this has to hold kind of going forward and the, uh, the NASDAQ here, uh, 4547 is kind of the important low. We're in an uptrend, but again, these uh, trailing stops that kind of follow us up in these uptrends have to hold, and we're just close to those. Then on the actual uh, charts themselves. So if you're looking at a better X trend, this is a trailing stop based on exhaustion volume. It's a, a volume based indicator. Better sine wave is a price based indicator. I'm going to show you the same indices and just show you we've got uh, cyclical support popped up on all of these charts. So this is the Dow chart, cyclical support gone off today. So that has to hold for this uptrend to kind of continue. Uh, this is the S&P 500. Came in a couple of days ago. It was early compared to the other indices. We're kind of playing with the the lows of that. I'm giving it a little bit of uh, kind of play because it went off a little bit earlier than the others, but it's still in there as a critical kind of cyclical support. This is uh, the Russell again, signal today, cyclical support gone off there. You can see it. And this is the NASDAQ again, gone off today, uh, cyclical support kind of happening there. So across all of the indices based on a volume uh, stop and then based on a price uh, cycle, uh, those lows today were absolutely critical. And then I'm going to show you how it's uh, uh, kind of gone off on all of the different uh, time frames uh, from the 40,500 tip bar chart on the way down. So the highest time frame tip bar chart I look at is the 40,500. That's because it's a multiple of three of the charts uh, below, uh, starting with my kind of lowest time frame, which is a 500 tip bar chart. And I think the uh, maximum, uh, this is getting close to the maximum uh, for TradeStation, I think it's around 90,000. Uh, I can't do three times that. So it's the highest time frame tip bar chart I look at and you can see today's trade uh, we basically topped out as cyclical resistance on the 40,500 and we bottomed out at 2001 here with cyclical support so cyclical support here absolutely key having put in nice exhaustion patterns and bullish divergence and so on uh, then let's go down to the next one down which is 13,500 same thing cyclical support gone off today around the 2000 level we're above that we're holding there and let's go down one more to the 4,500 Cyclical support was a pullback to end of trend. Beautiful little signal that uh, went off. So when a trend move, end of trend move um, cycle syncs up uh, with cyclical support on the higher time frame, that's a nice kind of level. So you can see support, support, support across these three time frames. And then if you go down 
on uh, the 1500 tip bar chart. It was also a pullback to dirty end of trend, kind of cyclical support kind of down here and on the 500 tip bar chart and so on. So again, uh, using price cycles and going down on time frames on the 500 tip bar charts upwards, we're talking about a really critical level at 2001. So it's been a strong bounce off that signal uh, this afternoon, kind of get this thing going. Um, it's got to hold. It absolutely has to hold. If we go through that, if we kind of slice through that and kind of lose confidence, uh, then we're into uh, downtrends on a whole bunch of charts. But so far, you know, we bounced off it this afternoon and we've kind of kept going to the upside. So let's see. I did put out a note uh, yesterday. Uh, sometimes when I don't put out a video uh, on the site, I'll go to Google Plus and I'll just put up a chart. And I'll just show you the chart I put up on Google Plus yesterday. Uh, just in the afternoon, I was saying possible uh, E-mini long uh, setup, uh, heads up. And the reason for that trade on the 13,500 tip bar chart, we had a nice little setup, pullback to end of trend, exhaustion, sell, bullish divergence, and we have blue professional bars at the lows. So it's a trifecta, if you like, price, volume, and pro signals. Uh, so average trade size being high because the professionals are stepping in at the lows uh, was a good little kind of signal here. And I was saying that the break above 2025 to the 2030 zone uh, would do it to break us into a nice uptrend. And that's exactly what we got. You know, we broke up really nicely uh, from that end of trend signal here this morning uh, on Tuesday's trade up to 2050. So it was a beautiful little rally. But as soon as we came into resistance there, we couldn't make any headway. Blue professional bars took profits at the highs and then sold it you know kind of breaking uh, through the ice here falling through the ice uh, into a really kind of steep uh, downtrend giving us another exhaustion signal and bullish divergence down at the bottom but as I say it's an absolute kind of critical level so uh, I don't know you know we've uh, we've been let me just show you the 40,500 tip bar chart here you know we'd had this really steep kind of uh, profit taking you know kind of downtrending move at the beginning of the year we bottomed out with exhaustion buying and, and bearish divergence and this was the move I really disliked it was done after hours it was based off one of the Fed members kind of speaking and I was saying the other day it felt really gamed up just using the low liquidity in the after hours market just to gap the thing up and kind of get it going and so when we closed that gap uh, yesterday and came back into that zone where it kind of taken off in the afternoon hours that for me felt better that felt like a more you know the professionals stepping in at a place that was more reasonable closing the gap it hadn't been gamed up they'd taken profits up here with this blue professional bar step back in at this one but it then you know today's rally didn't get through 2050 it just fell off and came back down to support so yeah it's a shame we kind of um, got this thing going um, I, my guess would have been that it would just cracked through here uh, this morning and kept going into an uptrend. So that's not kind of good. But if the pros are just trying to beat it down and, and get it back down into these levels and kind of freak people out, just watch out. So in my mind, we can kind of break either way uh, tomorrow. But this level down here at 2000, 2001, absolutely critical. So let's see kind of uh, what happens. You know, if I were to say anything, I mean, these blue professional bars, this is a down one. We didn't have them picking them up at the lows like we did here. Uh, this one's coming at the end of the day, which is kind of a little bit, let me go to the 13,500, that's kind of a better signal here. So, you know, if they were really picking it up at the lows and uh, really kind of getting into this and, and thinking it was a value play, you'd have seen a bunch of professional bars kind of coming in on these down bars here. They kind of happened on the retrace and they've kind of happened here at the highs. So I don't know, I'll, I'll wait and see. It's not a classic in terms of just buying the lows and this thing will kind of uh, take off and it'll be a fake out move because it broke below this previous low and people are thinking, well, this looks really dangerous and start shorting it first thing in the morning and it takes off to the upside. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of 50-50 about this one, but I just know that 2001 level is kind of absolutely key. So a uh, good couple of days trading for me, but I'm going to pick out a, a four point trade kind of first thing in the morning. It looks pretty pathetic when uh, when the whole the whole day is uh, top to bottom 50 points but i don't know what to say i'd rather have that than a loss so who knows anyway hope your trading is going well and uh, looking forward to seeing what happens tomorrow